Okay, let's just say for example that you are the guitarist in your friend group, right? We've all had that moment where they're like, bring your guitar over or, or play something for us, you know? But you never do because you don't feel like you have anything impressive enough. Well, luckily I'll be showing you guys some of the things I personally play to really wow people. They're all amazing pieces. Uh, I try to keep them around 20 seconds because uh, I feel like when you're playing a three minute song for someone, it gets repetitive and instead you could just play a couple short but really impressive things. I seriously recommend you guys learn at least one of these songs because they are super fun to play and uh, they will definitely impress anyone you're playing for. So I've picked out four pieces for today. I think I'm gonna go uh, easiest to hardest, but just to let you guys know, it does get pretty dang hard, um, especially the last one, but that's why they're so impressive in the first place, right? So yeah, just a warning for you guys, I promise you the other three songs are very playable, it's just that last one is a very like rub it in your face kind of song. Okay, so for my first guitar party trick is uh, Asturias by Isaac Albanez. It's a super famous classical guitar song and I'm sure a ton of you have heard of it, but nonetheless, it is still very impressive. We're just gonna be learning the intro today because everything after that is very difficult, but uh, yeah, the intro is definitely doable. It might sound too hard at first, but uh, just listen to me play and I'll show you guys how easy it actually is. Uh, and yes, I am putting a capo right here just to mute that B string a little bit. I found that when you're playing on an acoustic guitar, the B string is way too overpowering for this intro. And on a classical guitar, it's, it's definitely a little softer. You get like a warmer tone. Anyways, let's hear it. Okay, so you guys might think I'm just saying this, but it's actually way easier than it looks. All right, so there's two things required to play the song. The bass line and the open B string. <laughs> the bass line and the open B string. That's all you need to play this entire intro. Okay, so we have the bass line, it goes like this. Easy enough. Just practice playing the bass line, the full bass line, with just your thumb, right? So, and now you just play the B string, the open B string, in between every single bass note. And it makes it sound so cool. And yeah, that's the entire intro, that's it. And just to make this easier, I do have all the tabs for each song in the description. All right, next up we have my second favorite song to play out of the four. And again, this song is not that hard, but it is super impressive. This one is called Apirophobia by Animals as Leaders. Apirophobia being the fear of eternity or the infinite. And yes, the song does sound just as cool as the name. Again, we're just learning the intro, but to me, it's one of the coolest sounding parts of the song. It's very technical, very impressive. So let's hear it. This song is definitely like a tongue twister for your fingers, more specifically the right hand, because the left hand is just holding down these four chord shapes, right? And the right hand is doing this intricate picking pattern. Uh, I'm gonna bring the camera in a little closer so I can show you guys the picking pattern, because that's the only difficult part of this song. All right, like I said, there's two things you have to do for this song. Uh, first is you hold down the chords. That's all the chords that you have to know. Okay, now for the picking pattern. In classical guitar, we have these four fingers which we play with. We don't really use pinkies, so we're just focusing on these. These are called Pima, P-I-M-A. So as you can see, we're starting at the lowest note right here. We're gonna go P-I-M-A. Move over one string, 
P I M A. Move over one string. P I M A. Now we're gonna go backwards. M I P. Move over one. A M I P. Move over one. A M I P. But also don't get ahead of yourself, guys. Just practice the picking pattern. The picking pattern has to be very accurate, very steady for this to sound good. I'd say you're ready to start using the chords once you can get it to around this speed. So there's a specific time that you have to change the chord. So we're gonna play it now. And before you get to that last bass note, that's when you switch and you play the bass note of the next chord and you start it over again. Okay, let's see that one more time. And once you start getting the pattern fast and you play it with the chords, if you look at yourself in a mirror or something, it actually looks really, really cool. Like it looks like a, it's like a wave of fingers, you know? Or even like a gross little spider, I don't know. All right, for the third guitar party trick, we have Donza Brizolera, a personal favorite of mine. I learned this song back in junior year in guitar class, and it really stuck with me because it was just so fun to play. The impressive part of this song is the speed. If you listen to the original, Jorge Morel plays it at around 130 BPM. And if you're planning on learning this song, good luck, because even I have troubles playing it at that speed, uh, even after practicing for a few days. All right, so let's hear it. In all honesty, I don't have many tips here besides playing it very slowly at first and articulating each note very carefully, which is what everyone says. I'm sorry, but it's true. If you play fingerstyle, this song should be a breeze, but unfortunately, this is going to be one of those songs where you have to learn it yourself with the tabs. But I promise you guys, it is very rewarding. To cap off this video, we have the final guitar party trick, and this is by far the most difficult one to play. This one took me about four days to put together, and it's only 20 seconds long. None of you will be surprised that yes, it is an Ichika song, but come on, like, I love his originals. They're short, sweet, and they blow people away. This song is called Young by Ichika Nido, and again, I will have the tabs and even a video tutorial that I found for this song in the description. All right, let's hear it. All right, well, there we have my four guitar party tricks that will basically impress anyone. Sorry guys, I really don't have any advice for this song as it requires hours of practice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I urge you to learn at least one of these songs. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite and do not forget to subscribe for more content like this. I will see you guys again very soon.